Hi everybody, so this is kind of part two of my chemical pill journey. Um, I didn't get a chance to film yesterday, so this is actually day six. And I'm still kind of at the same spot. I'm only getting peeling around my chin and around my nose. So I'll go ahead and do a zoom. I think the other one's gonna show it better, but you see right here, it's clear. And then you'll see where it's all tight and still skin discoloration. And the same here, where it's peeled here, and then we still have all that. Nose is peeling a little bit. Forehead too, and I have nothing on my face. I just got out of the shower, so that's how my face is looking. It's still looking really shiny, and it feels really, really tight, um, especially around my cheek area and my forehead. This is day seven. It's exactly one week ago today that I had my chemical pill. I didn't get a chance to film yesterday, but Saturday evening and yesterday, you really started seeing my face peeling. It, the last time I think I checked in, it was still around my chin and lower cheek area. Well, now the sides are starting to peel um, behind my ear and also patches on my forehead. It's coming along and her recommendation was on the fifth, I think fifth day or so to go ahead and try to take a steam bath and that steam could is really going to loosen up a lot of the skin and it did I noticed because um, after I got out of the shower I washed my face and it felt really smooth and I know it sounds like it hurts and it actually doesn't so I'm going to get close up you can see right there um, some of the skin and I know it it looks bad and there you can really see those spots have really started to come out. I've just noticed with the SPF, you know, any kind of lotion or moisturizer with the SPF, it just really, really makes me oily no matter what I put on top. I did try to put makeup on foundation and it just, it wasn't a good idea because the fact that there are certain patches of my face that have already, the skin has already come off naturally. When you run the foundation, it's like you, I'm putting it on, you know, on two different layers. So you have a real smooth one and then you have the skin that has yet to peel and it just, when you step back and take a look at it, it is just very off and the foundation takes different color to the different skin. So I, I just looked all blotchy. I felt like I looked like a, like a leopard or something with spots everywhere. So I just opted to maybe put a little bit of powder on. I'm going to wait for the foundation until I completely you know everything is off that's my update for today and hopefully this process will hurry up and speed up it's taken a while at least it's not painful and to me I can bear and grit it I really don't care what people say I mean I've had a couple of people I went to the mall and they're kind of like I mean I probably they probably feel like whoa you got a really bad burn but what can you do it's all part of it and I'm sure it's worth it I can already tell it is Anyway, I hope everybody's doing good, and we will see you in my next check-in. And today is day eight, and it's in the morning. I just got to work, and the only thing I have on my face is moisturizer. 80% of my face, I feel, is peeled. It still just doesn't look really good because it's not all in one area. It's it's a lot of patches, but for the most part, it's pretty good. You could, The only thing that I can say right now that is a real pain um, in the butt is that I'm peeling a lot from the edge of my face um, by my hairline and jawline. A lot of the skin, I mean, just sit flaking off or and I'm always having to make sure that I don't have any of the skin that's peeled left in my hair. I always have to be constantly checking it. Everything else is going good. I really can't wait to have everything off and just be able to put moisturizer and makeup and let's go. Um, I'm sure I'm going to really see a difference and I'm going to do a before and after um, back to back that way you can see the difference. I don't like the set of film moisturizer. It's just too, I mean it doesn't feel greasy but it does give my face that greasy look. So far the Origins and the Clinique are the only moisturizers that moisturize my skin but don't give me that shiny look afterwards. Just wanted to do a quick check-in and we'll see you soon. Bye. So this is going to be my last check-in and I'm happy to report that. I mean very little left on the actual like hairline but for the most part it's it's all gone and I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. I could definitely see a difference. Not so much in the color 
It's definitely in the scarring. They're not as deep. They don't look as deep. And um, it did correct a lot of the dis um, skin discoloration. Of course, I, I still do have spots. I'm going to do a close-up. It really didn't take that ugly wrinkle away that I wanted. It is what it is. So um, I'll probably film um, with makeup on. I'm going to go get rematched for my foundation because I think it did make my skin a little bit lighter. Once I put on a full face, I'll probably do a closing. That way you could see um, if it looks any smoother than the beginning. So this is my last final check-in. Today is April 1st. I got my peel done, um, let's see, on Monday, last Monday. So it's been a week and five days. I'm really happy. I'm, I'm really pleased with the results. Like I said before in my earlier check-in, I know that I wasn't expecting my face to be completely flawless, all this, you know, scarring to be gone, all the skin discoloration to be even. I knew that wasn't going to happen with one session. Um, I'm, I'm going to do two. Hopefully the second one will will be enough. Um, I was told that three would be ideal for me. So I am definitely going to wait till fall. I was told that I could get this chemical pill every month. You just need to let a month go by. I cannot see myself doing that. It, it's um, not that it was so bad, but you do go a lot of days. I mean, I went like almost 10 days with really just wanting to put moisturizer and sunscreen on because putting foundation on top of peeling skin is not attractive. I can't see myself going through that in the summer. It's just way too hot, especially here in Texas. I mean, I will be miserable. So I really recommend that it's a spring, fall, winter kind of deal. And so I definitely will be doing that again. And I'm probably planning to do it around September, sometime in September. So um, that will, I'm curious to see what the second treatment will do. But anyway, I do have a uh, foundation on. I have NARS Sheer Glow and MAC Mineralized Skin Finish on top of that as a setting powder. But I did this makeup with, at 5 o'clock this morning. And right now it's going to be 3 o'clock. So I do feel like... I don't know if it's because this is like fresh new skin, but I do feel like my foundation and makeup is lasting a lot longer. Right here, it looks a little dark. I think that's me kind of screwing up on my blush. So really, the chunk of it was right here that it was the scars were really, really deep. Um, but the scars did go all the way up to like my hairline and as well on this side. But with the... Um, with this peel lately, the ones up here have really, really gone down. They're not as deep. Um, of course, right here, these were super deep, but um, you see them, but they kind of blend in. Uh, anyway, it's a work in progress. I mean, for $100, I just feel like I couldn't beat that. I, I wanted to experience. I wanted to check it out. Um, I do see results. And of course, you know, like they were very completely honest. I would need at least three sessions, but with the one session, I have I have been able to see a difference. I notice that my foundation stays on a little bit longer. I still get oily, especially on my forehead. So I want to thank everybody for watching my video and kind of going with me through this journey. It was something new, something I will definitely do again. And we'll see what happens until September till I get my second one. So I hope everybody's having a great day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care everybody. Bye. So now it's time for the before and after photos. Both photos were taken without any kind of makeup on. And as you can see in the after photo, I still have scarring, but it's better than what it was before. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye.